Ever wanted to play DS games on your PlayStation Vita? Well in this video I'll show you how to do exactly that. So we will need quite a few things in order to get this emulator up and running. So first you'll go to this website gamebrew.org and all the links will be in the description of course. And from here you'll see this installation guide and you can download the latest VPK from um, for DS Vita, I've already done this. You'll need libshack ccg.suprx, and if you from here, you can download this VPK is uh, PIB configuration. I've already done this, so just click install on that. And finally, qbridge.skprx from releases and you want to download you just want to click download there so after you've downloaded all those files you want to go to here so i have all three files here so pibconfig.vpk dsv and qbridge so with qbridge you want to get this out of the way you want to go here and just transfer it to the root of your ps vitas uh, USB root of your PS Vita's directory and with DS Vita pretty much the same premise just drag and drop this into the folder into the directory for your PS Vita and once you've transferred all these files as you can see I mean I've already done this but once you've transferred all these files you, you can move on to the v PS Vita now so now that we are back on our PS Vita, we want to get to our uh, QBridge. I've already, I've already transferred it to the UR0 slash tie, but you basically just want to basically move it to UR0 and into the tie folder. And as you can see here, I have QBridge.skprx. And from there, you can just back out and re restart your PS Vita. And next up, you would just want to install pibconfig.vpk, and it will give you a message like saying like it will access different folders. But just install that anyways. I've already done this. And same thing with DS Vita. You want to install those two apps. Additionally, um, if your PS Vita hasn't already. Uh, create a DS Vita folder To be fair it should once you boot first boot up DS Vita it should um, have the saves and settings folder um, already created, but if not just Go here click uh, New fo new folder and just name it DS Vita Then saves and settings, but here's where you put all your ROMs now. I will not tell you where to get ROMs I do not condone piracy only play games or only play games on here that you physically own. Even if they, you know, even if it's freaking Chrono Trigger that which costs hundred pounds, I don't care. <laughs> but um, this is just where you put all your ROMs. And yeah, so once you've done all that, we don't need Vita Shell anymore. And you want to go over to PIB configuration, and you want to click uh, cross here for reinstall slash repair PIB. Now I've already done this. It will just install these um, apps. So, yeah. And you can also, um, if you haven't already, I think I think it will just install uh, Shack CG. Not sure if you need to do that, but it's fine. But once you've installed that, just go over to oh, my bad. Just go over to DS Vita, and it should boot up as such. So. We have some settings here, so uh, you you can change these depending on the game. So for me, I'm I'm just going to keep an accurate LE. You can change the screen mode, which will help for certain games like Brain Age. Um, but I'm going to test out Bleach: The Blade of Fate, which is a really good fighting game on the DS that I 100% recommend. And before you get me Nintendo, this is a game I physically own. So, yes. 
And this is one of the games that does run slightly better. So, let me just play a random match here. So yeah, some games will have graphical issues, some games will some games will run just fine, mainly like the more lightweight games, but if you want to play things like Pokemon then it will be a little more laggy and unstable, but for the most part it should be alright, but this emulator is still in progress, but yeah, so with that guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope, it, I hope you found it helpful, and please like and subscribe, every bit helps, and... I'll see you in the next video, bye.